scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Torchwood Monthly Range. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've just been listening to Robots, that's so cool, but that's my next review. Uh, This time, it's, well, kind of odd. This is a storyline that basically John Barrowman came up with in an interview in the back end of one of the other uh, episodes. Hey, why don't we have Captain Jack uh, pregnant and having a child and him and Yanto having to look after it. That's your basic principles. That's your basic plot. That's it. Now, there are arguments that can be made that sometimes you've just got your high concept story and it's done. But that's it. You can't do that. You can't just fill an hour with a statement that takes 25 seconds to tell the audience you can't just go yeah yeah this is the one where Captain Jack gets pregnant for a start that releases all sorts of questions how more importantly why and even more importantly what happens next what's the outcome and luckily that areas are covered in great depth and they manage to fulfill a great plot Not only have we got a brilliant plot going on and some fantastic acting, seriously, if ever you needed, if ever anyone was going to play a Doctor Who character who got pregnant, you really just need to hire a Barrowman. Completely. Nothing else even comes close. Superb. Yes, after a while you start getting mown down by, oh please stop moaning, just get on with it. But you know what? Sometimes even in a pregnancy in real life, you start thinking, oh, please just get this over with. No, seriously, I've (coughs) been there. So is that of many people who've been involved in pregnancy in any side of the fence. So, is it a good story? Yes. Is it well delivered? Yes. But is it necessary for the ongoing narratives? Do you really need this Torchwood? Not really. It is a one concept story and it takes place after the death of uh, Tosh and, but before that whole, well, you know my feelings on the children of Earth. If I have any complaint about this at all, it's about the, well, the bit that Yanto is kind of underused in the storyline. But this isn't about Yanto. This is kind of about Yanto in the sense that he's got to deal with Jack and relationships and all of that business storyline wise but he's only in a handful of scenes which is fair enough because narratively speaking he's only needed for a couple of scenes because you've got a new character that of Jaunty who's one of these alien races who refers to himself in the third person and you kind of accept it for what it is it's an outsider looking in on the UK culture and kind of passing comment on it although one thing is nice in this storyline unit does turn up i know unit those blinds are blurring more and more i really want a unit torchwood crossover at some point modern day unit modern torchwood it's wearing to happen and you know with the modern series of torchwood you could absolutely have that, especially as they're all on the run in the back of a smart car driving across the UK. That, that's the box set I'm so waiting for, the next one. But, till we get that, we've got this. And this, this is just great. Here's the trailer, decide for yourself, and I'll speak to you very soon, probably about Doctor Who, because that's going to be on TV before we know it. Be seeing you. Oh, no. 
from Big Finish Productions, Torchwood, Expectant. Two of our friends die and Jack goes off and I think he's coming to terms with it, but oh no, suddenly he's pregnant. <laughs> I meant to act like everything is normal. Well, it's not, because that's not a normal reaction, is it? Avoidance is one thing, but Jack is up the duff. I swore I'd never get pregnant again. There is nowhere to run. You are protected here. Let me touch you. I was not built for this. Oh. Life. 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 Oh, I'm having a nice night in. Radio, a cup of hot chocolate, a couple of Gary Baldies. It was brilliant. But no, I'm doing this instead. For you. Always. All time. Wait. Big finish. We love stories. Cardiff just became a very dangerous place for a man to be pregnant. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.